Good morning. Welcome to GFTS, where we're getting fit and talking shit. It's Gusto and Aldo, Game Bros and Crusades of Motivation. Shout out to Old Dog Fitness and Double Osiris. You already know how it goes. Man, uh, good morning. We, we keep it at life. Uh, it's just me and Aldo. Aldo don't feel well. Uh, I don't really feel well. I, um, we're going to warm up and stretch. I can't really talk about why I can't get busy this morning and work out. Aldo, you know what? Did you watch the Settle It on the Bars battle between Iz and Wally? Shout out to Settle It on the Bars. I'll let me explain it real quick, right? It's a community where all the athletes pay $5, right, for, for the month. And they have battles, and the winner gets $1,000. If you happen to win one, that really pays for your membership for 15 years. Think about that. But anyway, it's dope because it's a way for people to get some bread. It, it keeps you accountable to working out these battles and all of that. So yesterday was the second battle. It was in Maryland with Iz and Wali. Check it out and settle it on the bars. What up, Aldo? Man, good morning. Good morning, bro. I'm a little fucked up, so y'all have to excuse me with my fucked up voice today. But I'm here, man. I'm here, okay? I'm going to... We're going to try to keep this streak going, man, for whatever fucking time we can. We almost didn't fucking make it today, but we're here, bro. So, so you know, in that context, man, of this, this uh, I think it's a great movement that's going on. I think it's something that the calisthenics world needs it because there's nothing like that, man. There's not a, a, a dedicated, uh, what could you say, a league? Could you say a... Uh, they have leagues, but I don't think that these <laughs> leagues and there's leagues that have been very consistent too. Like there's the uh, bar, uh, bar grows to be for, for one of them. But anyway, they don't make money. The athletes don't get paid to compete, which I think is the dynamic that makes it different. Yeah, I think, I think it's clever, man. So shout outs to, to Red Bright. Is he the one that's started yeah. this this movement? I I think it's... it's uh, it's a great movement, man. And yeah. I don't know where it's going to go. This is what, is this like the third time it's going? Is this like the third battle, fourth yeah, battle or something the like that? Event. That was the third event. Okay, so I, th I think it's beautiful, man. I don't know where it's going, but uh, I think it's a, a clever fucking idea. Definitely that. And, 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 it's a good and look. It's, Help people out. And it's great that my fuck is getting paid because uh, that, that gives you a little bit of more of a motivation to, like you said, to work hard and train. I didn't know about the membership, though. That's that's something that I'm just finding out. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's something that, that the calisthenics world need, man. Well, we need to keep moving forward. To, to make it a real league, to make, some, make it like a, a, a brand where people actually – there's a reason besides – fitness and wellness that we should have been doing anyway but now you take all of that and you put it there you know what i'm saying and it's a good look for the communities good morning rep support the jay thank the you jay jordan good morning good morning man yeah definitely man definitely and i really want to see where this goes man because i see that they're doing this uh what 15 minute routines 12 minute routines I want to see a marathon in there, bro. I want to see a thousand fucking pull-ups. <laughs> I want to see a thousand fucking burpee race, right? Because, so uh, because you know, that's the athletes that can do these routines on the fast time, but there's also the athletes that can fucking endure the fucking pain and, and last four hours doing some fucking safe movement and, and yeah. keeping it, keeping it as clean as you can and then keep the mentality and keep the fucking shit going. So I want to see that. Yeah, That's I my recommendation. Marathon joint. But it comes down to watchability. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If people watch that, I would watch that. I Same. prefer marathons. 10-minute workouts is cute, but, you know, that's more like fast twitch fibers. You know, and, and there's a level of endurance to it, but there's a different type of endurance also. It's like sprints and, and marathons. It's different. I don't think yeah. the second people will win both events, both types no. of piles. I don't think so. Mm -mm. I don't think so. Yeah, like they got their fucking Ironmans where my fuck is run for days and shit. Shout out to uh, fucking uh, shout out to Eric, man. Triathlons. You know, triathletes with they fucking run for fucking 
<laughs> shit, I see, I, I see some of they run overnight and shit. You know, they they have to fucking eat on the on the go, shit on the go sometimes. So that's a different type of endurance, you know. Yeah, that is. I like to see that too. So what, let's see where this goes, man. But if they have a marathon, I'm in, bro. <laughs> 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 you know that, that'd be some cool shit to to watch man good morning kenny okay, excuse man. my balls my voice man i'm fucked up today man oh yeah your boy said the j jordan that's how you was yeah j man I'm, my, the voice is fucked up bro but uh yeah david goggins <laughs> bro i read that book of him and that shit made me cry man you oh, always uh, cry yeah, I'm a crier, man. I don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> yeah, it don't, it don't hit no more. See, that's why I don't cry. If, if I told you I read his book and it made me cry, you're going to be like, word? Oh, my God, I got to read it. <laughs> I, if I if you cry, I'm like, oh, man, there goes him crying. I don't mean nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I'm, I'm big with my failures, man, because I never used to be like this, bro. You know, that's something that I have to let go. And be and be be cool, cause that's really how I feel. And for a long time, I used to hide these emotions and shit. And I'd be like, man, I can't be crying, man. I'm a man. But that shit don't make me no man. I'm still a motherfucking man. You know what I mean? I feel uh, it, man. Cry, let it out, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's not for anybody, man. I, I, but good morning, I, I, man. You know. Shit. But that's dope. Not. I ain't gonna lie. You know what made me cry? Watching mm. trees. Oh, bro, like, man. made me cry twice. I, I can put it on right now. I'll cry, man. That Which speech, one? That's fucking Sylvester Stallone's speech or Rocky's speech in the, in the, in the towards the end. Oh, man, don't get me started. Uh, <laughs> the first one? All of them. All of them, yeah. fucking emotional, man. I don't know why. I'll be going into it like, not this time, Creed, not this time. <laughs> <laughs> It gets me. Yeah, man. Movies, man. That's what that actually means, right? They move you and shit. Shit. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to play one of those, right? A little while. But look up that speech. It's funny. Yeah. I saw, uh, one of them, my son had one of Rocky's speeches memorized, bro. Where, words? Say it all the time. I was so proud, man. <laughs> I forgot what it was right now. Man, um, I just for the first time watched my first one. The, the whole last uh, last winter, we we watched the whole Rocky movies no for way. the first time, bro. Yeah, and straight through. Yeah, straight through. Yeah, it was like a snowy day, and me and my lady, my son, we were watching the whole fucking the whole series. And uh, bro, yeah, that's dope. They all there was a few tears throughout the whole fucking thing. Like, hey, what? Everyone but your wife was crying, right? No, she had cried too. We got pic <laughs> we got pictures. We got pictures. Cause that's a, that's a thing we got in the family, bro. That shit is funny because uh, you know, we're watching some shit and one of us is fucking tearing up. And then we call each other like, oh, there you go, fucking dad is crying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, you so fucked up too, bro. Man, this shit must be going around. Man, I had just beat this and I came back, man. Cause I was outside, I was playing myself, training outside. It was cold. That's what happened. Man. We just chilled out, but what can we do? Here we are. Yeah, man, we live here, man. We can't fucking escape this shit. You know, can't can't really live in a bubble, bro. <laughs> you know, that's that's no escape to this shit, man. Like you gotta breathe. Right, of course, you're gonna do the best to uh, like for example today, I had to work and you know what? I'm gonna cancel on the homie because I've, I will feel bad if, you know, the homie's got two twins, you know, my client for the day has got the twins, man, and I'm like, fuck. And I, was, I feel good, but my voice is fucked. I'm like, I don't know if this shit is contagious. I'm like, you know what? I'd rather cancel on the homie. Um, Cause I will feel bad, you know, the fucking, his kids get sick. At least, cause, I'm, cause of me, cause I'm, I'm like. You give him an option. Around. Give him a choice. Well, too late now. I already told him. <laughs> I already told him, bro. I woke up sh shitty, and I really don't don't think it's the the right thing to be around me and get fucking sick. 
that's respectable. You know what I mean? Because I, I want the same for myself too. When somebody is, is fucked up and they, they let me know, I'm like, yeah, that's best to not. Cause, bro, because also, it is another thing for me. Uh, people pay me money, man, to give my 100%, right? And if that's I feel true. like this, I'm not 100%, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? Point. So I'd rather not, man. I, I, I want to be respectful in that manner and be respectful to their hard earned money. Like, bro, you know what I mean? I'm not going to be 100%, so I shouldn't be. Bro, I, I'm begging that, man. I'm trying to give my best to everything I do, man. I respect that. You know? But, but what's up, man? How, How you wait, man? Huh? How you warm up with these bands? Here, let me grab my real quick. It's right here. <clears throat> Just trying to stretch a little. Yeah, man, warming up is important, man. Uh, last week when we, we got that set, man, I, I didn't warm up, and I felt it after. I was yeah. sore than a motherfucker, yeah. Which set was that? That one we did before the, the show. Oh, yeah. Now, you was going to be sore no matter what, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, I, you know, I didn't have time to warm up, but, I, man, warming up is important, and uh, it's healthy. It keeps you longer. It, the performance gets better. Yeah. I'm going to run that set today. Okay. I'm going to run that set today. Let's I can't wait, man. Go. I can't wait, man. Looking forward to see it, man. How do I feel? I feel all right, man. This cough is pissing me off. I don't know how that's going to affect me. Um, I, I had a lot of energy. Let me see how... I mean, I feel all right, I guess. Yeah, man, this shit is this shit is fucking weird, man. And I, I still wanna wanna break it down where you can't really know, man, because there's times that you run fucking sets and you perform amazing. Like we, I, like I was watching it on the set on the bars, and uh, the homie, the homie that went against Rebright is talking about I did this shit in eleven minutes, which. Uh I, I, I believe him, bro. You know, because he's saying, like, you never know, bro. I, I want to break it down to where you want to know um, what it is that affects these things because, yeah, he's right. There's times that you run a set and you do fucking amazing. And then you come back a days later and you fucking trash, like, what? Yeah. And who knows what it is? You know, who knows what it is? You can, you can eat the exact same thing, sleep the exact same way. Go into it. Who knows? Something. It got to be something, but it happens. You never know. The little, the small micro details, you know? But I'll tell you, the way I'm thinking about it is, it goes back to a lot of things we've talked about over and over, week to week, right? On the show. All of those things, let's put them all together and what do you get? That's it. You got to be part of the show. GFTS. I'm about to GFTS it. Everything we do, bomb. Put it into fruition, make it happen, make it tangible. Everything we talk, everything we say, make it. And uh, Paradox has said it also. He said, yeah, man, I might not be saying it, but when it's action, it's up, right? You say, it doesn't even matter what we say. Sometimes it's just about action. Hey, it was the lying speech, right? The, uh, all of those things, man. Uh, uh, what do you do every day? How do you train? Every, all of these things, it comes a moment where you get to just shut up. And it's not, there's no more talking shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because words are win. So, it's, you know, and not it matters but the results. So after it's all said and done, then we can say what it is. You know, and yeah. then reflect and be like, well, this is what you could have done better. Or this proves that you've been, you've been already doing better. Whatever it is, it don't matter. But you get to discover, you know, this is what people, it's what people play for, right? It's all... Train to go. Let's go. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> this 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 working out shit is crazy. And I, honestly, man, I'm I'm finding a lot of these things because I've been training with you guys and and you, man. Which I thank you again. Tell me a lot of shit and then show me these fucking sets. And I notice all the time, man. Like I do this fucking sets and this week is like fuck, man. You did great. And then I try to do it again, and it's like. 20 minutes later, like, 
I'm late 20 minutes or 10 minutes more. Like, what the fuck happened, man? I had this thing. And is it, is it, I'm not doing it enough? Is it, am I doing it too much? And uh, you gotta well, calibrate that shit though. You gotta learn, discover yourself. I don't think it's the same for everybody. I know for me, I've been running this. I've been having, you know, it's been differences of like five minutes. Mm -hmm. like a couple minutes faster or a couple minutes slower. And it all adds up to like within this five <laughs> minute window. <clears throat> and then I try to break it down um, because I've been recording all of them. I just haven't been posting nothing. Mm -hmm. I've, seen, I've been looking at it and studying where is it at. And, it, and it's weird, too, because you could do it a certain way and do it a completely different way and have the entirely same result. Oh, so, really? You know, or, or you could do it. You could pace yourself a certain way and then. Like you find out your strengths and weaknesses and you try to cater towards your weaknesses and it kind of limits your strengths. And then you try to like maximize your strengths and then it wears and it, it, it really makes your weaknesses weaker. You know, like you, so I don't know what the magic is, but there's something there somehow if you study it enough and figure it out, there's gotta be, which is what mm. I'm trying to do, but. You never know. Every day is a different day. Some days, maybe your weaknesses are your strengths. So who knows? Man, I wonder, man. I wonder um, where, where, where that shit at. What, what is it? What is it? You know? Because, um, oh, man, like, it happens with me with muscle-ups. Like, lately, I've been trying to... Cause that last set, bro, that shit got me all fucked up. And I'm like, oh, I got to do more muscle-ups, man. I really kind of... Because, bro, there's weeks that I don't do... A, I said of muscle ups, right? So I'm like, I really gotta, yeah, I'm trying to level up, bro. That's what it fucking comes down to, right? So I'm like, man, I gotta run the fucking muscle ups weekly. Gotta make it into, and that, and you know what else? I'm trying to do some footwork, right? Cause uh, I'm like, I gotta try to run these few things into my routine so I can be uh, be more effective when it comes down to a bigger routine with it has these movements, I can, Get on the bar, man, because that last time with those muscle ups, I just fell fucking trash. So um, I'm gonna see if that works for me, right? Adding it every every routine, just every routine, see if see if that that principle of uh doing the same thing over and over makes it easy. <coughs> I think it does. Um, and it doesn't because I haven't done muscle ups since Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So that's a long time. Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But I might not have done Four it day. since Monday. I'm not sure. I haven't done muscle ups. This is the fifth day I haven't done muscle ups. Okay. So I don't know if that how that's gonna affect my muscle ups today, but I tell I, I don't think it's gonna negatively affect me. Because I, I do muscle up so much that it's probably good that I rested it, you know, or I'm going to get burnt out fast. I don't know. What, will it, will, will, will that rest be, make me closer to the first time I did it <coughs> or like the middle when I was really doing it well, mm -hmm. uh, but with the Wingate set, how many times we did the Wingate set? Every time we did it, it was like, it was a little better every time, but we wasn't doing it every day. You do it like once a week or something, twice a week. Mm -hmm. And every time mm -hmm. you did it, it felt like it was getting better, right? Yeah, definitely. So I, I think there's something to um, repetitiveness and rest. And when you can combine that, that the sources, the ingredients are, are repetitiveness and rest. When you know how to mix those ingredients and you, you know how to balance resting with reps, then, then you'll improve. Definitely, definitely. I think that, and that's that's now that we're talking about this. I think that's the the uh, the formula to find for like what's going on. Like for example, for the set on the bars, these people, right? I wonder how they been running their the program for because that's different, bro. When you're actually training for uh, a purpose, like they have this purpose of this, and I don't know how it works with them. I don't know if they have like a, like this routine. They already know. I don't know how it works, right? And I, I hope we find out one day. How do, how do, do they know in advance, like, yo, you're going to have these routines for, for when it's your turn. So, right? 
So I wonder how they do. Like, uh, with the, where they train in this, it sounds like they do because what's his name? The man, what's his name? Man, man, what's his name? Man time fitness. Yeah, man time fitness, man. You know, he's talking about around this routine, so he must have known this routine for a minute. Yeah, they knew the routine and trained the routine. <laughs> I would, I guess, I would, I would like to ask both of them how they were training for it because I'm pretty yeah. sure it's different. Yeah, yeah. It's different. Yeah, me too. I would like to know, and hopefully, they share that as the time goes. But hopefully they add a, add that into uh into the the channel, the yeah, training. I mean, that I think that'd be good. cool, you know, to to share with the people. That's true. That's a that's a. You know what I'm saying? To 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 like uh know like okay, well we we knew this, what a month in advance we knew this routine and we've been training like this. Do you training in segments? <laughs> Do you fucking run the routine over and over, daily or or do you run it? Uh, cause like, for example, in boxing, right, you, that you break it down, you break it down. Right. And, and actually there's a camp going on, uh, on, on my boxing gym, shout out to BNB, man. And that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a training camp right now. Cause they, they're big fighting fight the, up. yeah, they have big fights on, on March, but like actually a lot of people in the, there's a big tournament here, which I'm going to record and I'm going to post that shit. The homie easy going to be there. So that, I think that, I don't know if that's his first fight, but, um, shout out to easy, man. He's fighting. He's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shout yeah so we, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna put that, but that up on my channel. But um, I so they on this, man. Easy, good, man. But they, I, I've been seeing the camp. Because I'm not training with them with that, which I'm fucking jealous, because I've been seeing getting down and shit. Right, I gotta help out with the kids. But um, I've been seeing them how, and this is cool for me, bro, because I'm learning a lot of shit. I see how they break it down, right? They're breaking it down where uh like uh aiming like this is a big thing that i noticed i never seen this shit and i don't know if i should be sharing this shit man but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh like aiming your punches right so they have the, these little targets and shit where they're like uh you know you gotta hit the targets so you gotta hit these little pinpoints and shit and i'm like fuck, that's brilliant they they breaking it down like that where well, they're gonna um fucking aiming and then they they, they do uh cardio shit so they're breaking it down and then the, and, and so when the, the fight comes they all make it in the in the stew right they got the ingredients for the stew they're cooking that shit so the day of their fight the stew is ready to eat and uh we'll see how it goes man you and know what i'm saying a lot of confidence you don't even know good because because that's brilliant yeah yeah and, and that's a method Right, and uh, I'm learning this these methods and shit. Cause usually the classes don't go like that, man. You know, it is we train like uh, uh how could you say uh the whole the whole thing of boxing, right? Uh, we train the cardio and then we do footwork and then we do a little bit of text part, so you stay sharp. But that's like the routines that when there's not a a, a fight. But now I'm seeing it, how they laser focusing on these little things, and I'm like, oh shit, right? They they uh they get this fucking like a tire and shit like a t it looks like a tire but then there's two people in there and they stay in that in that tire and you gotta like spar in there bro so so that's training to stay in the pocket right I'm like fuck that's that's brilliant man so you can't fucking move there you gotta figure out how you can stay in the pocket stay in the pocket because that situation comes to a fight you don't know what the other fight is good at because every fighter has this little thing that they're good at and, and they do. So they train in everything, fight from the outside. They train in everything. So when the shit comes, they know how to how to act. Amazing. Yeah, that's that's dope, man. I, I feel blessed to be in that fucking gym, bro. Okay. Yeah. You should see if you could try to get a fight. Yeah, they already asked me a few times. And then... What are you waiting for? Yeah, I don't know, bro. Like, to be honest, I don't even know. I just, do I don't... I don't know if I'm... I'm uh, <laughs> This is one of the things, to be honest, bro, because I got him punching shit and I'll be all dizzy and I'm like, I wonder if my brain is just not, because I started this shit late in life, right? I'm on my 30s, bro. Yeah. So I, I've been getting punched for, for six, free. seven, eight years, you know? So my shit is, because that shit is training too. Getting punches are training, you know? You train your fucking yeah. brain to get bubble all the time yeah. and you don't get as as, as affected as as, like now, I'm, I feel like I'm because I'm new. When I get punched, I'm like, oh shit, what? 
You know, not fucking, I got a headache the next day. Yeah. So that's really the thing for me. Like, I wonder if, if, uh, if just, I'm over it. Who's to say they don't get headaches too? Who's to say they I don't guess I don't know. Them? I guess I don't know because I really haven't asked. But uh, I noticed that on myself. I'm like, fuck, man. I'm out. And the next thing I'll be like with that fucking headache and, and I feel weird. You know what I mean? And it's from that, obviously. Bro, you, you know why I think you should do it? Mm. Because not for the fight itself, right? Specifically. But once you sign that dotted line and you committed to that fight, everything leading up to that fight is going to change. So you, mm -hmm. you, you manipulate your journey. That fight mm -hmm. will be the destination, and the journey is greater than the destination. So, yeah, the fight is there. But everything you're going to have to do to prepare for that is going to make you a better person. And then you're going to experience that destination. Mm -hmm. However it goes, it doesn't matter. You're going to discover something about yourself, and it's going to be over. But everything you learned on that way there is going to make you a better person for the rest of your life. And that's something you could contribute to us, to your son, to your family, and to yourself. That's why I think you have the opportunity to experience that, might as well go do it. And if you get your ass mm. knocked out, then we get to have a good laugh about it. <laughs> <laughs> but fuck around, you might discover just how great you are. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you what, though. Now that we're talking about this, I uh, thought about this because I'm curious the way I train in my regular life, right? Because I'm a different type of dude, bro. Like, I, I see people there, you know, the way they train. Because boxing is a training, but... I do this other shit. I wonder how that will help, you know, into into boxing. That's that's something that I thought myself about. I'm like, damn, I wonder how uh, actually going into a fight uh, will, will will help me. You know, I've been doing these fucking push-ups and these pull-ups and this because uh, we're trying different, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, it'll do something, but I don't know. Boxing is boxing. You know? Boxing is tough, man. Yeah. That's you know, a different fuck. I don't think you can do anything and then go into boxing and just be ready. You know? You still got No. Boxing. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I know that. interested to see how your other things meshes with your boxing and mm. your boxing. You know? Will that be advantageous? It can't hurt. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. Cause you know they they there's this big thing they say in boxing, like you can't be too bulky, right? Like they tell me this shit all the time, bro. This is shit is funny. Even uh uh Bud, he told me that he's like, man, you too fucking stiff, man. They always tell me they, it comes from a lot of people. They tell me that you're too stiff, and they and people that know what I do, they they're like, that's because you be doing too many push-ups, man. Mm. You be doing too many push-ups, too many pull-ups. You shit stiff right here. And in boxing, you know, I'm yeah. like, fuck, how do I loosen up? I always ask, I'm like, how do I loosen up? They're like, just gotta loose up. And in my mind, I'm like, I feel loose, but but they're like, you, you uh you fucking stiff. Your your chest dominant and push-ups <clears throat> are restrictor muscle to boxing because you put your chest, right? That slows down your punch a lot. It's a you don't see boxers with big ass chests. No. You know, because it's a restrictor muscle. You yeah. might have some big ass backs though, and big ass necks. Yeah, yeah you, you need that neck. They probably have you stop doing push-ups. It's a restrictor muscle. They used to always say that people who bench heavy, they probably can't punch that hard. Yeah, you're right. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, man, they keep telling me this shit, and I'm like, fuck, man. I'm like, I'm trying. You know, I'm like, I'm trying to loosen up, but but you know what? For me, I feel loose, but. To them, it looks like I'm stiff. So, yeah. yeah. Well, they're the pros. That's what they do. They know. Yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm surrounded by crazy, you know, crazy good people, man. And I fuck, bro. I, I be sucking up getting like crazy. I just been like asking, fucking, yo, how do you do that? Uh, uh, and it's so cool that, and I, I believe every boxing gym is like this, to be honest. I think that culture is just like this. Where you know they want to help each other and shit. They they see something you're doing wrong. Yo, get that shit together, man. You don't do it like this. You gotta do it like that, right? And um, it's My beautiful, son man. Boxed for a while, so I was I was um always there, and I could see that's the culture. Yeah. The co everybody everybody there is a, a a fighter and wants to fight, but nobody there wants to hurt anybody there. No. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it's crazy.
Everybody there, everybody there is a warrior and nobody there is seeking war. No. Powerful. Yeah. It's trippy, man. I was just yeah. telling my lady about this because she, she believes that uh, boxing is, is, a, is violent, right? Like, it, it, um, it promotes violence. And I'm like, yeah, but it's not, it's not that type of violence. Boxing is a controlled violence, which is good, I believe, to have, for somebody to have that because people is just violent naturally, right? There's people that, that just fucking want to be fucking people up. They go into this boxing shit and, and they learn how to control that. Yeah, powerful. Yeah, the Kenny man, he said he's he's par a lot and he's he's he gets the days too. Yeah, yeah, Kenny man, that shit sucks, bro. Fuck, man. Uh props yeah. to the fucking boxers, man, because that <laughs> that's just tough. Yeah, no, I can't take a punch like I used to. I know, cause every time I bump my head, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, yeah, but that's. I think that comes to the same shit. You train your 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 muscles, you know. That's a that's a training too. Like well, uh, actually, you know when it started for me when I got into a motorcycle accident and I got knocked out cold. Once I woke up from that, my brain never been the same. I felt like I had a severe concussion or something. But now with the impact on my head, it kind of like makes me dizzy for a second. Um, so no shit. Yeah. Yeah, you probably that, fucking say that online. <laughs> fucking probably lose one of those cords that touch the brain, man. I don't know. Never know. Never know. But uh, yeah, man. Hey, I'm gonna look into that though, man. You got me thinking. You know what I mean? It's not. You're probably gonna fight somebody that's on your level. Oh yeah, no, no, you don't. You find your weight, so you never know you what know. level my motherfuckers are. You know. Because I seen it, bro. Oh my God! I never forget this 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 fight with this kid, man. This kid was just so damn good, man. I I felt bad for the other kid. They were on this 16, 17, you know what I mean. But this one kid, man, he's almost like almost like a pro level, right? And I was like, oh my God, man! And it's just brutal because that kid was just too good. And I even heard the coach telling him, "Yo, you know that kid is not as good as you, man." Take you know, it. but take it easy on him, yeah, because, I mean, you know, you can really hurt somebody, you know? So, I don't know how I feel about that, man. You know, it's like the same shit when you give a, a like, you're playing a game and they're like, take it easy on them. I don't know if that's good It depends. bad. It depends. In boxing, it's, it's necessary. Yeah, I can't make you better knocking your whole head off your fucking body. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that's not gonna make him better. What's that gonna make him better at? Mm -hmm. No, but you know, you you take it easy. It don't mean you take it light. It, you know, you, you, if 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 he throws something, he shouldn't. If his feet ain't working right, and you spin and you hit him, you hit him. But you know, don't try to hurt him. Really, you don't got to three piece him when you can just two piece him. Uh -huh. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, uh, like uh, my son had a game this Saturday, man. Shout out to my boy Roman, man. He, they won 26, right? 20 to 6. And I'm like, God damn. And then the coach was telling him to take it easy. And I'm like, ah, fuck, I don't know, man. I mean, that's different. No one gets you know hurt. What I mean? Yeah, the pride gets hurt. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> a good the, thing. Get rid that's of a great thing. Yeah, exactly. That's Who's a great that? thing, man. Get humble. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, we sat on this settle on the bar shit, you know, and shout out to uh, that dude again, man. Man, man, fitness. Man time. Man time fitness, man, because he, he wanted to finish his set, man. So shout out to him, man. He, yeah, I said that to myself, too. I'm like, yo, the biggest thing I took out of that was he said, I'll be here all night, but I'm going to finish. And I respect that. Me, too, very much, man, very much, because the. Uh, he could have said, fuck it. Yeah, he could have said, fuck it, I'm done. He, he already won. And I think that's that's a good thing for yourself, man. That that That's more for yourself than for yeah. anybody else because that, that uh, keeps you accountable. Like, fuck it, I'm going to do this shit and finish it. Finish what finish. you're saying. Exactly. That's a, that's a good shit for your mind. Yeah, it's a, it's, it says a lot about a person, the character. If I see somebody quit, you told me a lot about yourself. No doubt, man. Yeah. Man, you told me that you're a little pussy, man. Like, what you really? <laughs> like, you really, bro? You 
you couldn't just fucking stay there if it took you an hour you get that shit done man instead of that fucks with your mind bro that's that ain't good you I know feel, what i mean i'm gonna finish what i start i promise you that outside Thanks. of an injury you know like a, a injury if finish what you start bro yeah man you can't go you can't go but if fuck you can, I, I, I come back if you can you can so. Yeah, believe me, bro. I've been there. It fucking sucks, man. It fucks with your fucking head bad. You tell him what he's doing wrong. Oh, there you go. See? Okay. True that. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, true that. True that. Yeah, man. Um, There's so many things, man, to work on and shit, man. Definitely. And you'll discover more stuff when you go put yourself in the lion's den. So, fuck it. I'd love to see that fight. Uh, you got me pumped now, bro. Thanks. <laughs> be that date, bro. <laughs> You'll be on video for sure. I'm going to turn um, it into Bromaha, Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You know what? Uh... I, I really wish I would have started this shit earlier because I, I would have given it a big shot, you know, fucking, you know, really would have given it a big shot. I it's not uncle, late. Yeah. It's a great my, sport. My uncle was a Golden Glove boxer. Oh, dang. He, he died the night of his Golden Glove fight. No way. Of what? Ah, it's, it's, can't even talk about it online. All right. Yeah. Well, R.I.P. Man. Oh, I even though. Well, anyway, I'm not gonna. It's disrespectful to even talk about it. R.I.P. Man. Yeah. So that was big in my family boxing. Yeah. Well, I guess Spanish people is always big, right? Yeah. You know, Puerto Ricans is always big boxes. Mexicans are the always big boxes. Yeah, it's a thing, man. Philly. Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, and Philadelphia. <laughs> That's a fucking... It must be the warrior in us, you know? <clears throat> yep. Yep. No, man. That's dope, man. That's dope. It's Taino. That's what they say. It's the Taino. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's uh, uh, the indigenous people. You know, that's some shit in our DNA that we've been fucking fighting forever, man. And we must, we must get, I do get satisfaction out of this shit, to be honest, bro. You know, training this shit and you start, I get some out of it, you know? That's good. Gives you joy. They would tie his shoelaces together to get. Oh, uh, that's good. Oh, dang. That's, that's smart. You oh, shit. That? Now we, uh, I seen, uh, like, uh, the band, you know, like the band, like the small bands and shit. Keep it, put it on your legs so you keep that distance of, of your foot, whatever, you know, keep that, yeah, that footwork. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, that's, that's just, that's helpful, actually. It's uh, boxing, and you know, this is from uh, coach, one of the coaches, man. Shout out to Coach Steven. He, uh, he said it's a simple thing to, you know, it's a simple, it's simple things that you got to put together. You know what yeah. I mean? Because it is. It's, it's like a lot of times people want to make it complicated, but it's it's a simple th it's a simple things, man. It's many simple things that you gotta just put together. I'm Isn't like, wow, that that's it, right? <clears throat> I mean, I I don't think everything is is simple, but everything, bro, everything. How, uh, an accountant, right? When they do all these math, all these crazy math problems, uh -huh. it all started with one plus one. You know, you master that simple arithmetic, and then they teach you a different kind of math. You start mastering that, but when you start connecting all the dots is when you start getting calculus and all of that. Same thing with boxing. First they teach you the little turn your wrist or something, your foot, mm -hmm. you know, no you move your, all those, those things are simple. When you put it together, you, now, now you're a champion. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, man. I. I we had this new kid, man, and I, I feel uh, I feel fucking guilty, man, because I was, you know, they usually there's new kids, and sometimes they're like, okay, I'll go here. Can you help him out, shit? You know, get his footwork and shit. And I'm like, all right. And man, it was uh, 
it was so hard at the beginning, right? And there's these little things that I've been learning to like, okay, man. So there, we, we use a line. We use a line to like keep your footwork, right? So keep one leg on one side and one leg on the other side. But for, for a while, I was trying to teach him without the line, man. And I was like, okay, f picture of, uh, a line between you, your legs. And you got to keep that line, you know, one leg on one side, one leg on the other. And it was so hard. But I'm like, I'm fuck I feel guilty because I didn't use the actual line, right? And I'm like, oh, hold on, man. So we there for like 20 minutes and the kid wouldn't get it, man. And I'm like, I mean, eight years old, right? And I'm like, fuck, man, he's not getting it. I'm like, and I'm trying to think, right? And But I didn't think about the actual line. So I'm like, oh, hold up, man, come on. And then once he actually saw the line, then he clicked on him, right? So it is sometimes, uh, yeah, it's simple. And sometimes having a, a visual for some people. I mean, finally got it. I'm like, oh, hell yeah, man, you got it. Good. But now you learn something too, because you'll never forget about that line again. Yeah, I never. I never, because I knew about it, but I didn't think about it, right? I'm like, well, just imagine a line. Imagine a line, and the kid is like, he can't fucking see the line, right? And I'm like, oh, hold up, we'll actually use the line. And it worked out, man. The kid got it, and he, he out there, man. He out there doing his thing, man. <laughs> For real. Yeah. One day you're going to be the person, one, some dude is going to be a champion giving a speech, and you're going to be old in your house. And they're gonna say, "Oh, there was this one dude Aldo at the gym." Oh he man! You know what I'm saying? That that took me somewhere else. That pushed me somewhere else. That gave me that motivation. He told me that one thing or something is gonna happen. Mark my words. Man, hey man, I'm learning, man. I'm learning. That's 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 all I'm in, man. I'm learning, sucking up game, and whatever I can share, I will. You know, and I'm gonna stick to it, bro. Whatever I, I that I see this. Just going for the rest of my life, man, to be honest. You know? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, uh, um, make you want to join the gym. Because they have a hey. new one by my old block. No shit. Yeah. I, I, every time I pass by, I think about it. I'm mean, like, one of these days, I might just walk in and give it a go. You know? Hey, I, I did it. It calls me. It calls me. I can hear him. There you go. Yo, I, I did it, bro. To go in. I don't know why. But meanwhile, my son did it. My yeah. son the balls. He went in and did it and got really good. Sparred and shit. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey. Um, I started, for me, I, you know, it's funny, man, because I always wanted this, right? But I same. I never really took the steps, right? <laughs> I always said, like, oh, that'd be cool to learn. And I had homies growing up that box. In fact, uh, back in high school, man, they used to have this club, like a fight club, right? They go after school and they fucking put the gloves on. And, and a few of them actually train boxing. And and then they have this fight club and they're fighting. And I've never wanted to, man. I'm like, nah, man, fuck. Because I see how good they were. And I'm like, this motherfucker gonna knock me out. So I'm like, nah, man, I, I watch out here. You know, I, I watch out here. I'm going to stay on the sidelines and shit. I never wanted to. but But I wanted to. Right, but I never really had the the balls to actually saying like, "Oh, I want to join a gym." So <clears throat> I always wanted this, man. That was when you were how old? That was 17, 18. You do you regret that? To an extent. So now, to an extent. You now with the same opportunity. I'm taking it. There you go. I take. I'm taking it, man, and it, and it happened. You know, it happened by by. Um, not accident, but it just happened organically. It happened organically because I wasn't really looking into joining a boxing gym. I was looking into getting my son into a boxing gym. Wow. Right? So, so everything just happened organically, man. And uh, it's been so cool, you know. It, it, I can't fucking complain about that, man. Um, I see my son in there. I, I fucking doing my thing. It, just that whole win situation. That's dope. Yeah, that's very dope, man. Life is good. Amen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so I guess that's our show. We didn't warm up at all. I'm going to change the title. <laughs> hey, we talk shit, though. Let's do our 25 push-up buy-in. What are we doing? We didn't even do and our you, 25 push-ups. Man, let's go, man. Yeah, man, but the boys is fucked up today, boys, man. Shit. All right. Ah!
Ah, man, I haven't worked out in two days, bro. Man, me neither. I feel it. Ah, uh, yo, shout out Kenny, man. Thank you, bro. Kenny, man, thanks, bro. This games. I'm gonna go get ready. All right, bro. Thanks, bro. Hey, man, this I know this show, man. We made it, goddamn. We made it. Man, we 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 talk about not doing it. But uh, we did it, so that's good. That's gains, man. Like Gusto says. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! And hey, you have a beautiful Sunday, man. God bless y'all. TTS.